What's up guys, Nova King here back with a first unboxing and this is going to be the boxing of the Razer Typen. I'm not pretty sure you pronounce this but um, I got a little um, tax money back from the state and from uh, the United States, a federal tax, but uh, never mind that. Uh, we went, me and my father actually went to Best Buy and I got a new mouse pad too. I'm not going to make an unboxing of that because it's just a mouse pad inside a little casing. That's from Razer too, but this is the Razer Typen, and, and um, it has multiple features on it. It actually is an ambidextrous mouse, so if you are a left-handed gamer, you can use this mouse too. Uh, there is a few pros and cons to it, but we'll we'll rate some of the stuff. I think it has a maximum 8400 DPI. Um, it the scroll reel on the mouse lights up, and the Razer logo on the mouse lights up. Typically, with any type of razor mouse uh, right below the school reel there is the DPI uh, changer and with uh, SIPNAPS 2.0 if you click these buttons it actually comes up on the left of your screen and actually shows you a bar of when you're moving it down it tells you what uh, DPI you're at and actually I'm sorry guys the the maximum DPI is 8200 8400 excuse me about that um I usually game at about 1800 DPI is a, is good for me for using computer work and everything else. Um, I actually took this video not at home is when I got it because I wanted to see it before I took it home. All the way home I actually stayed at my grandma's this weekend but uh, anyways. Yeah so the audio is not going to be synced up or anything because there is no audio. I took it out of Sony Vegas right now but never mind that. Um. The, the packaging it comes in is pretty sturdy. It gives you two free Razer stickers that I'm going to put on the side of my computer. And uh, I took some pan shots here. Um, I was just testing the the video camera on my Galaxy S3. But yeah, I have some demonstrations here showing the, the scroll wheel and how the mouse works. So uh, actually on either side, it's the same way. There's those two buttons on the left-hand side, which is really kind of hard to reach with your like uh, ring finger and your pinky if you're trying to use the other two buttons on the other side but it actually made me feel pretty comfortable using my left hand with the mouse like that it's actually pretty cool um, I'm actually ambidextrous but it's kinda like I play baseball with my right hand and I catch with my right hand and I punch with my right hand but you know I'm right handed when I do other things but I uh, write with my left hand and you know, but besides that, this mouse feels great. Um, there's a, f a few cons. Those it says nine programmable buttons. There's not really nine. There's only four, and the t the two on the side, and the two on the other side. But the thing they're saying nine is like the left click, the life, the light. Um, the, sorry, the right click, the scroll wheel click, the scroll up, the scroll down is all programmable. But I don't think you really need to change that at all. But that really covers it. Um, as you can see right here, coming in with my uh, room, how it's actually meant to do. I just took this a second ago. And then I'll show you guys a thing of my whole setup right here so you guys can sneak peek of what I look like when I uh, play my game. So if you um, want to hit up and play with me sometime, since I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, I don't really care. If you want to play with me, you see my videos, think I'm cool, want to be in a video, I honestly don't care. Just hit me up using my Steam name of Nova King, or just comment on here and I'll get back to you. So that pretty much sums up this unboxing. I'll give up a review a little bit. I can't get a full review now because I only had it for about a few hours. But anyways, guys, please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a nice day.